who says, it is God who arms me with strength and keeps my way secure. It is God. David recognized where his strength, where exactly his strength came from. He understood that it was the arms of God that brought him into a place of strength. It wasn't the arms of anything else coming around him that would, that initialized David's strength. He recognized the power of God in such a way that no other thing could fulfill it. No other place he could run to find what he, exactly what he was looking for. And so here's what's really cool about the God, the arms of God coming around us, having the strength of God carrying us. It is such a living testimony when you and I are going through trials or when we're facing a temptation and we sense the power of God coming around us and we feel his or experience the truth of his arms being our source of strength. It's, it's an eye-opening experience for others because they begin to question where we get our strength. Where does your strength come from? How can you walk through these battles and yet not be falling apart? It's because our strength is, is, is found in God alone. Our joy is found in God alone. Our, who we are is found in God alone. It's not based in circumstances. It's not based on, on, on how well our job is going or how well our marriage is going or how well our financials are going or how well our children are behaving or, you know, on and on and on. We don't base our joy. We don't base our happiness. We don't, we, we derive it straight from these arms of God and his way keeps us so secure. His way holds us tight. His way doesn't let us go. And so if you're in one of those places, maybe in your work or maybe at home, where you sense like, I don't know this kind of God. You know, today is your day because it's true for you too. His arms of strength are what's going to hold you. His arms of strength is what's going to make, it's going to give you security. If you're trying to find it in any other arms, in any other places other than God, it's going to, those arms are going to give away. And, but it's in the arms of God holding you that we get power to do things that we never knew we could do. Oh, Holy Spirit, give you power. Give me power to endure what we have to face today. May you experience his arms of strength coming around you and lifting you up. Have a blessed day.